This is an example to use a rectangle to explain a Java class and object. A rectangle class is trying to build object like a box, a rectangle box. This rectangle object will contain four parameters. The input four parameters. It's not really a physical object, but it's a computational object. Each rectangle can be described by the xy coordinate at the top left corner and then width and height. In implementation, a rectangle object will be like if we imagine it's a, a red tangle here, a red object here, it will have four parameters x, y, width, and height. This is how inside the Java class it is implemented. And when we call it, we need to use the keyword new, a new keyword to construct a new object. In the, the parameter here is x, y, width, height. The new is the keyword here. And we can actually, uh, in this, in the first line, it is assigned to a variable box. In the next line, we just construct a rectangle and print out directly. Okay, so here's the Java code to do this. And we first call new rectangle 5, 10, 20, 30. So the first one will construct a rectangle at the x equal 5, y equal 10, with a width 20, and height 30. But the first line is just print out, we didn't assign to a variable. The, this line, a uh, new rectangle is assigned to a box, and then I print out of the box. So for the object, the two objects uh, have similar properties. The next one we call a default constructor without any parameter. This should print out an empty box. And I compile this and then we can run it using BlueJ. And you can see uh, the first line of rectangle print out from 5, 10 width, height. And we can also see rectangle is part of java.awt class, upper level. The second new rectangle print out of the box, 5, 10, 20, 30. The last line, the default constructor print out empty box.